I am Martin and welcome to Fusionized. I have here today two of my other favorite dishes. For a rainy day, here's the classic ramen. And for that very early morning or very late night, Paris. Hope we can successfully merge these two. for our first step, which is to make the paris itself. So today we are going to be using some beef shanks na naunang kulo ko na, or first boil, wherein you just, the objective is to remove the scum. That's it. So then I have some soy sauce, sugar, you can use brown sugar if you want. I have some aromatics or spices here too. Star anise, very important, para lang matawag mong paris talaga. Dahil nandito nang gagaling yung unique flavor niya. Bay leaves, Tanggal umay and whole peppercorns. Okay. And last, as my friend said, the Filipino trifecta. <laughs> Ginger, garlic, and some, well, in this case, shallots tayo. Okay. Para mas concentrated flavor. Ito naman, since we are using a pressure cooker, meaning medyo intense heat, or even if parang long boil tayo, you don't have to really slice everything super fine. Just slice it up, crush it, put it with the meat, water, and boil. Yeah. Set it aside. Garlic. This will depend on how much you like garlic. So, dito I said this is like what? Half a kilo or one fourth kilo of beef. Okay. But it will all depend on how much you guys like garlic. This one is one kilo of shanks. Probably less since we already boiled it for a few minutes. So I'll use five. Just gonna crush this. Yeah, you can actually add half and then just go with crispy garlic toppings later. So yeah. next is the shallots. When I'm prepping that, might as well. Ano ba in expect natin sa pares? Merong mga you know pares is really just like adobo, not in terms of taste and style, pero same as adobo na there are so many interpretations on that. So for this recipe, we are gonna be using a sweet version of pares. Merong mga hindi sweet dyan na but as, gusto lang nila yung savory flavor ng anis tapos very tender beef. And of course, yung savory flavor nandun. Yun lang ang gusto nila. But tayo, we're gonna go for the sweet. Dahil Mas gusto natin na may onting intense flavor tayo today. Dahil nga gagami, gagawin natin siyang ramen. So what's the difference between shallots, white onions, red onions, and baby red onions? Okay. So ang shallots, mas concentrated yung flavor niya. And mas mabilis siyang tumamis kapag niluto ng pagkagisa natin. Right? Tapos ngayon, yung sa white onions, Mas matamis naman siya. It's best used as an ingredient. This is my opinion about the onions. But ang red naman, I find na okay siyang gamitin raw. Dahil yung kakaiba nga yung flavor niya and sweetness. Soy sauce, white sugar, and yung star anise bay leaf and peppercorn. Super simple preparation lang tayo. So, might as well give you guys suggestions on how we can how you can make your own pares different meron tayong tinatawag maraming klase ang soy sauce this is just the standard market soy sauce pero pag tiningnan niyo merong light 
merong dark, tas itong regular, it's meron ding mushroom. So yung light soy sauce, obviously, mas tame yung flavor niya. Wala masyadong, hindi masyado gumuguhit yung alat niya. Okay? Ang dark soy sauce naman, yung texture, ay yung viscosity, mas malapot siya. And of course, mas matamis. Now, yung mushroom, nag difference na lang niya talaga is yung source. And, if you use mushroom soy sauce for your dishes, magbibigay siya ng mas darker color and mas merong umami. Kasi, it's a famous, well, for us, famous substitute for using MSG is actually applying uh, natural ingredients like mushrooms. Okay. So, very easy. Just gonna combine everything. It's one-fourth cup of soy sauce. White sugar. I'm gonna use half of this, so around three tablespoons. And yung ating aromatics. Just two pieces of bay leaves. So just two pieces of bay leaves, one star anise, and a tablespoon of whole peppercorns. Yeah. So lagay na natin yung meat. Solid <laughs> Myro. So, para mas settle it, mas settle na once and for all. How much water you have to put? Uh, how much water you have to put when you pressure cook or something? Ang general rule jan is just go above the meat at least one inch. Okay? If you go less than an inch or sa or kulang pa. What, what could happen is, mag, masusunog yung ilalim nung niluluto natin. Pag hindi natin gagamitan ng pressure cooker, there's a tendency na kailangan talagang bantayan siya dahil magre-refill tayo ng magre-refill ng tubo. Like right now, we just used like one liter. But, if you were to just boil it na long way, it might take you more. Kasi kaila, you'll have to refill. It shouldn't go beyond yung, yung one inch na sinabi ko din. Right. So, nandito na yung meat natin. Next, yung mga chin-up natin, which is the ginger, garlic, and some shallots. Okay. So, by the way, dito sa ginamit nating pressure cooker, 30 minutes lang. But, if you wanted to do it manually, gusto nyo old school talaga. For that amount of beef, yung one kilo natin, it might take you around three hours of simmering. Not boiling, ah, simmering. So, ibig sabihin, the top off talaga natin yung tubig every now and then. I'm just gonna set this aside. Hopefully, di siya masyado maingay. And now, it's time to make our combo. Super easy. Parang siya yung magiging enhancer ng ramen natin later. Okay? Three ingredients. Nope. Four ingredients. So, kanina, pressure cooker ngayon naman. Rice cooker, yay! So, kung may rice cooker naman kayo sa bahay, it doesn't have to be like super digital like this. Kaya nyo nang gawin to with just the warm and cook settings. Cook settings, ang, ang ginagawa naman niya is it boils the water para ma-absorb siya ng rice at maluto. So, gets... Yan. Mainit na siya. Right. Unahin na natin tong dried seaweed or kombu. You can find this sa mga specialty stores. Or kung may pasensya kayo, I really suggest looking sa mga online like, online shopping sites. Doon kasi mas maraming specialty ingredients. And dilis. Uh, if you don't have dashi, which you can also get from Japanese stores or like any Asian market, pag wala kayo ng dashi or dashi no moto, you can use this instead. Dilis. Diba? Dahil same ano, same umami flavor din yung makukuha niya. And there are, so, there, ano na, fish base din naman. Right? I'm gonna put this in. Hmm. So that's around 100 grams. Next, again, meron tayong soy. Ang difference lang, kung yun nga, we had the liberty to buy different kinds of soy sauce. Ang suggestion ko, kung kanina, dun sa Paris, uh, mushroom soy sauce or just regular, dito naman, ang masasuggest ko is for you guys to use light soy sauce. 
dito ayaw natin yung guhit ng alat. Then, I'll add a liter of water. Ayan. So, while waiting, usap muna tayo. Ayan. Alright. So, kung napapansin nyo, we use pressure cookers, we use rice cookers. Ang in-emulate namin dyan is a kitchen wherein parang wala kang kitchen, yung maliit yung space. So, of course, nagbibigay tayo ng alternative like what I said, if you wanna use a pot, it might take you longer. Pero kung ganun talaga yung trip mo, go lang. It might take you three hours, pero kung gusto mo talaga yung lasa nung ganun, okay. Tapos namin sa lasa, right, ito ginamit namin eh, mushroom, soy sauce. So, eh, kung may regular soy sauce ka sa bahay, pwede. Difference lang, yung kulay niya, don't expect it to be as dark or as uh, yung, ano niya, yung umami, savory. Pero marami, pwede mo rin naman yun makuha sa iba-ibang paraan. Like yun, sa egg natin na idadagdag sa ramen later. Or, actually, kahit pag-usapan natin yung Paris mismo, diba? daming klase niyan. Merong street food style na sobrang malabnaw yung sabaw, yung masarap ilagay sa kanin. Tapos meron din tayong Paris Retiro style na meron pang kasamang Paris soup. So, ang style doon, iba, iba rin sa ginagawa natin today. So, kung gusto mo Paris Retiro, pakakapalin mo yung sabaw, tapos gagawa ka pa ng separate base. Yung sabaw no nahaluan mo pa ng broth. So, different process. Pero, nothing that a little internet search can't fix. Yan, di ba? Kasi ang objective natin sa Fusionized is to try our best to get the like something that would please everyone. Now, the, the pressure cooker is just letting all the air out. And while that's happening, pwede na tayo mag-prepare for our garnishes and additional toppings. So, I have here spring onions. You can always use just you could always use leeks or scallions instead. If that's your thing. So chop lang natin, nothing too fancy. Yo. So itong spring onions, we don't really use it for cooking. We only add it for finishing or garnish because it's as thin as an herb. Tipo residual heat can already cook it. And ang habol natin is both flavor and aroma, so you don't wanna cook it too much. So leave it there. And next, I have here my oh, it's gonna be a bit messy. Okay, na color. It's gonna be a bit messy. I have my mix of six minute egg and six minute, six and a half minute egg. Okay. So in six and a half minutes, that's the parang medyo perfectly boiled. And the six minute egg or five and a half minutes, yun yung medyo jammy pa yung yolk. But it's fully cooked, don't worry. Ang ano lang naman dyan, the danger there is if it's raw and untouched. <laughs> if it's raw and untouched by the temperature. It's just like cooking steak. That's the reason why kapag gusto natin ng rare or medium rare, we want, it, we want the internal temperature to reach a certain amount. Ayan. Itong ano naman, egg na to, madali lang gawin. Like a tea egg. Pero, of course, the usual natin. Papakita namin sa'yo kung paano if we reach. Magkano na? Ilan na pwede? Pwede mong five? <laughs> five thousand views? Last time, I think it was ten. <laughs> oh, sige, magbabargain ako. Five thousand! <laughs> Para lang... I just want to show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, these ones I was able to marinate overnight. Dito sa mixture, na hindi ko muna sa sabiin kung paano. <laughs> and this one has been in it for at least 30 minutes. Okay. Let's nice it. So this is our six minute and thirty egg. Mas maganda yung border niya dahil yun nga, overnight na siya na soak. Now, why did I have to make a kombu stock? Pwede namang diretso yung noodles sa ramen. Well, the point is to fusionize everything. And ang ginawa natin, we got the main flavor of Paris and the main components of a ramen. Diba? Nandiyan yung kombu stock natin, yung actual broth. Or sometimes they call this tare. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Pero yun yung main source mo of flavor. 
and other like aroma, right? Just meron tayong stock, meron tayong noodles, meron tayong protein and the toppings. You know, alam talaga natin eh, we chose the best qualities of both and then combined it into one, right? So the soup is ready, the kombu stock is ready, the beef is super tender, eggs are there, toppings, all that's left is the most important and which makes ramen ramen, the ramen noodles here. So what, we ha what I have here are actually fresh ones that I, I got from like an Asian market again. <laughs> Total, everything is super accessible now through you know those apps. This one says it's fresh, it takes four minutes to cook. All you need for that one is boiling water. Now, question, but hindi ko siya niluto dun sa stock. Again, ang gamit natin is fresh. So, meron siyang mga harina. So, this would make your stock thicker and, and magkakaroon siya ng raw, flurry taste. So, ayan natin. Okay. I'll make two. Fluff it up. I'm gonna close this just to preserve the temp. You're gonna cook it for four minutes and then it's time to assemble. Walang ko konting assistance with this serving spoon. So we just need around, well, impossible to matancha, pero 100 grams, that's our target. So that would be around a cup and a half of our cooked ramen noodles. See? It's actually enough. Pero siyempre, hindi pwede. Nagdana. Ayan. Right. Ayan. So yung, the one that we chose has its bone marrow intact. <laughs> Next, let's add some spring onions. And then now it's time for the stock, the Paris broth. So far, ganda ng color. And last is our egg. Again, you can do this. You can do a six minute egg. The important thing is to still have that jammy consistency. And you can just dress it up with like nori or sesame seeds, whatever it is that you might like. Pero ito, since I really want it to be a fusionized Paris and ramen, this is really good enough for me. Huh? Solid. Okay, so here is our hybrid. Our fusionized ramen and Paris. So good. And look at that. Oh no. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Okay. Super easy. What I wanted to happen here is for the meat to be tender enough so that I can just use chopsticks to like do this. See? Sobrang, ito na yung ginawa akong pang himay sa kanya. Why am I even holding it up? Ayan. So, little bit of that. Little bit <laughs> of this. And then, some of the noodles. Oh, no. Right. Let me loosen it up. Okay. So, before I taste it nga pala, difference, bakit hindi siya tinawag na mami? Is, of course, the noodles. Okay lang naman. So noodles and the techniques that we applied today, which is kombu stock, the egg, the toppings, okay? What do you say in Japanese? Ito takimas. Kain na tayo. Ito takimas. You know what, even if you do this like the long way for like, three, four hours of boiling, sobrang worth it siya kasi ako mismo gusto ko gusto ko yun. <laughs> Just, I want to finish this in front of the camera but I can. It's really good. Uh, we added just enough sugar for it to break through the savoriness of the soy. 
yun naman ang gusto natin, eh. makuha natin yung gitna. Now, if you want it to become sweeter, it's up to you. Yeah? So again, this is our fusionized ramen and pares. And it's been <laughs> very nice cooking with you guys, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.